What's going on, happy campers? Welcome back to the Texas Family Camping Show. That sounds cheesy. Before Christmas, I had told a few people on my Christmas wish list was a weather station. And Santa, AKA Tanya, came through and got me, us, a weather station. I mean, it said my name on it, so it's technically mine, right? She got this wireless weather station. Did not come with a power adapter, but I've got one. Talk more about that in a minute. I've already loaded up batteries. This is the wireless sensor that's gonna go outside. It actually has a display on it. So if you're outside and you're wondering, hey, what's the temperature? You can actually pick this thing up and take a look at it and see what the temp is while you're out there, as well as the humidity, which is really cool. Or, you know, hot. This one, it has a nice little uh, lip on the bottom with two little rails that I guess are like feet. Sits on a table easily enough. So we go to a state park or whatever, I'll probably just set this out there. I, I don't think the raccoons or the crows will be after this, I, I hope. Uh, it also has a nice little hole up here if you wanted to hang it on a nail. I was telling Tanya probably what we'll do is we'll get a spot for this at the house on the back fence, hang it up there, and then when we're ready to go camping, just grab it and take it with us. I know what that means. It'll, it means I'll forget it the first three times we go camping. Comes with a power cord here that plugs into the inside part. So that has two AA batteries inside of it. Just got it, so I can't really give you a rating yet on how long that's gonna last. <clears throat> but the cord for the inside comes with a USB-A to a round DC plug. And this is what station for the inside looks like. Also holds two AA batteries. What will happen is after 15 seconds the display will go dark like so and you can literally just, it's not even a button, it's just like touch sensitive. Touch it and it brightens back up there. Now once you plug it into a wall outlet it will stay bright. This also has a hole in the top and the back to hang it up like a picture. We may do that in our house as well, or it's got a nice little stand like that. You can set it on the table. It also has some alarm clock features. I'm probably not gonna use those as my phone doesn't need Wi-Fi or internet to keep on running my usual alarms. No point for me in setting that up with this. It gives you the option to set your clock like 12 hour or 24 hour if you wanna do the military time. Uh, it tells the date, the year all that jazz and this inside station will tell you the inside weather as well as the outside it also gives uh, pressure ratings we're currently at 29.5 and they say that it's able to based on pressure humidity temperatures things like that it can do like a 12 hour weather prediction not exactly sure how long it needs to make its predictions. I'm very curious to try that out and report back to y'all later on that. I mean, it would be pretty cool though when we're isolated. This thing is like, hey, I think it's gonna rain in two hours. We're like, hey, thanks for the heads up. We'll see how reliable that is. It did not come with a charger, but Tony and I have had quite a few Samsung phones over the years and we have a number of these little guys. And it does say it wants DC 5 volts and this Samsung charger is output at 5 volts so I got a plug under the table here so they said that this would light up when it comes in power there you go I'd probably put this in our room next to the bed what I do when we go camping and I like to get up early and go out and get video and photo of the sunrises I'm in the room and that's where I'm deciding what am I going to put on? Pants? Shorts? Long sleeve? Short sleeve? That's one of the primary first reasons why I wanted this information. The fancy camera is going to sit here and watch the weather station while we go and take this thing outside.
there you have it. It may not be the fanciest, it may not be the best in the world, but it works. It worked very quickly. Didn't require me to have a PhD in meteorology in order to make this thing work. That I was very thankful for that. I think Tanya did a great job. Great job, honey. I love you. Just what we needed when we're going out camping. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't like this video or you're mad about the temperatures in South Texas at Christmas time, give it two thumbs down. Show us how really mad you are. Happy camping, y'all.